Hey guys, so this is the other part of my Rose host Wholesale review. Um, here is where I will talk about the site in general. Are they good? Are they trustworthy? Are they bad? What's the quality of the stuff like? Um, I would have already posted a video showing the items. It's a real kind of quickie, uh, fashion showy thing. Um, but now, yeah, I'll talk about the other things. So as you can see, I'm wearing the wig I got from them, one of them, and the uh, um, horror movie shirt. I am completely in love with this wig. I think this wig is just amazing. This is the coolest wig I have ever seen. Um, yeah, it looks fake. Yeah, it's got that shine to it, but I really don't care. I could do so much with this wig. What I love about it is it's got so many colors in it. It's thick. It's not like a thin, paltry wig. It's got bangs, which I need to cut and sort out somehow. I just, I don't like cutting wigs because the hair doesn't grow back. So if I fuck it up, I fuck it up. So I actually virtually never cut and style a wig that I own. So this one just, I would just probably trim the bangs just a little bit because it's at the awkward, you know, the awkward length. But um, aside from that, I, I won't touch it. But yeah, it's got a variety of colors, really, really nice colors, a beautiful mixture. There's like every color you could think of in here. And the top of it is just like this. So it's, you know, I'd probably wear a hat with it if I wore it out in public. But uh, this wig is just beautiful. It's just got so much to it. It's soft. I love it. Like, I love it to death. I don't want to take it off. I wish this was my real hair. Um... It's just rainbow goodness. It's not as crappy looking as the other rainbow looking wigs I've seen online. Um, to me, this one is a lot more interesting um, and it's a lot better. And I just, I think it's really eye catching and I love it. Um, the shirt I love as well. Um, this serial killer shirt is my favorite out of all of them. Out of all the shirts and stuff we got today, uh, it's got this cool prints all the way around it of all the different um it's not I keep saying serial killers I mean horror movie villains um I'll try to set up my camera a bit better sorry um yeah so I am really happy now let's see my experience with Rose Wholesale uh there have been some problems uh mostly with them um sorting my order out, I guess. They contacted me. I did not contact them. They contacted me and asked me if I would mind um, doing a review of their site and their products and stuff. Uh, they, I, I get asked now quite a few times by quite a few companies to do site reviews. And so whenever I do big hauls, usually, um, well, it's been a, a couple of them, not many yet, but a lot of times when I'll do a haul video, nowadays it's because a company has asked me to do a review just because they've asked me doesn't mean I'm gonna lie they don't tell me make sure it's a good review make sure you know all they do is say make sure it's a you know happy silly you know do a do an interesting fun review that's what they say um, they never try to sway me they, they never say make sure you only talk about good stuff they don't they just completely leave it up to me which I really appreciate uh, because if they try to make me lie for them, I don't know what I would do because I would not feel comfortable lying to you guys about anything. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of, uh, but, uh, anyway, I, I was personally kind of worried because on these Asian sites, you know, it's a blanket corporation. It's one big company and then like Sammy Dress and Rose Gal and Twinkle Deals and Wish and Rose Wholesale and uh, Lily, Dress Lily, um, they're all kind of part of the same company. They're the same, but they're different. They're individual under one company. Um, and I don't mind doing the reviews for them. I've looked online and Rose Wholesale has gotten a lot of bad reviews. They've gotten a lot of people saying that they're a scam company. The clothes are shit. The items are shit. Uh, they never get their items. Um, they don't answer emails, yada, yada, yada. Everything's too small. So I'm going to address all these things in this video. First of all, uh, the items are small. 
but everything except for one item I got fit me. Logan's items did not fit him. I mean, they fit, but he's put on a bit of weight and he has like man boobs and a, what looks like a beer belly, I guess now. And he's not very comfortable with it. And so he, he didn't want to wear anything to put it on. It fits him. It's just, you can kind of see, um, unflattering bits. And so he's not too happy with that. Um, you have to look at the size guide for every single item that you order. You can't just say, oh, this says medium. I'm normally medium. It'll fit. It doesn't work that way with anything that you order online. It doesn't matter if it's Rose Wholesale, if it doesn't matter if it's eBay, it doesn't matter if it's local. You have got to check the measurements because measurements always change. Large for Iron Fist could be an extra large for Killstar, you know, I mean, something like that. Every company, every label, they're different. You can't just rely on large, extra large. You have got to look. So I did that. And while some stuff I got was medium, other stuff was like a three or four XL and everything I got fit, except for, like I said, one corset. Dorian, Dorian, Dorian is itty bitty and most of the stuff is small on him, but there's a couple of things that are XL that fit him. So it just goes to show how different the sizing is. If you are too stupid to look up the size guide and you bitch and complain because something doesn't fit, you've really only got yourself to blame. It's more like a take no chances. If you're paying for something, make sure you get what you're paying for. You know, make sure you get the right size. Don't leave it up to the company to do that for you. You've got to look yourself. Um, as far as the quality, I'm a cheap kind of girl. I don't really expect expensive stuff. I don't really kind of like expensive stuff. I like cheap stuff. Um, I guess I'm kind of like gaudy that way. I just like colorful, cheap, fake shit. Uh, I could do with real stuff sometimes, but I'm just as happy with knockoffs and shit. It happens when you grow up poor, you know, you make do and you grow up and you, you don't, <coughs> oh. <laughs> I choked on my spit. Sorry. <coughs> I don't know where the fuck that came from. You make do with what you have. And so I don't mind cheap stuff. When you go into sites like this, you have to be aware that if you like, for instance, um, there's a, I don't know if it's an iron fist dress. It's got the red and the black. I'll put a picture of it here. So this iron fist dress or whatever it is, this dress online would be like, I don't know, a hundred bucks or something. You see it on these sites and it's like 20 bucks. Okay. They're not going to give you an authentic product for $20. You have to take in consideration these sites are cheap for a reason. You need to think, use your brain. They're cheap for a reason. They're obviously knockoffs. You notice if you type in Killstar or Iron Fist or Hot Topic or Pokemon or any name brand, it will not come up. So they are doing knockoff versions. You have to be clever with what you type in. You type in Skeleton, Gothic horror, zombie, blood, you know, bat, spider, things like that. This is the shit that I type in. Um, Halloween, and it'll show up. You can't just type in a brand name because you're not going to find what you're looking for with anything. Once you find it, look at it very closely. Look at how the print is because what you have to imagine is it'll be a cheaper version of what you see online, most likely. Be prepared and be aware and you get what you pay for. I went into it, even though I didn't pay for any of this stuff, I went into it with my eyes open. I was very careful with what I chose because there's a lot of stuff I liked, but you can just kind of tell from the prints, even if it's a professional photo, if it's a knockoff of that, what's it going to look like? Look at the measurements. How is it going to be? And then you kind of have to guess and see if it's worth it or not. This shirt here, this is what I hate. I don't know if it's just this site. I don't think it is because I got Dorian a couple of shirts um, off Trade Me, which is a local site for Christmas, and they're all this material. I don't know when sites started selling shit this material. I don't like it. This isn't like cotton anymore. It's like this spandexy. I don't know if you guys have seen 
these these new shirts all of them are this weird shiny spandexy fabric they're not just a cotton t-shirt um and so dorian's came like the spandexy stuff and so it's a 3d printing on the spandexy stuff and if you look closely oops you know i don't know if it's fucking showing or not but um the you know the print on it's not too bad it's it doesn't really look yeah it doesn't really look bad it's it's pretty well done um pretty well made i've got no issues with it at all uh to be honest and oh fuck set that shit up right yeah i i've got no issue with the print on this i don't like the fabric of the shirt that's probably my only complaint and um my red and black dress is the same fabric um all of Logan's shirts are the same fabric and most of Dorian's shirts are the same fabric so I don't like it but as far as all things go it keeps you cool it's light it's airy the print's not faded Logan got this fucking t-shirt uh the one with the eyeball on it and the print on that's amazing like there's it's crisp there's no lack of detail at all these shirts are actually a bit heavier and sturdier than the ones I got Dorian for Christmas that were local. Um, the dress I got, the uh, the 50s looking dress, um, when I got it, to, the straps that crisscrossed across the waist were broken off. And so I had to try to sew them back on. I, I can't sew, so I did my best butcher repair job on it. Um, but the dress is pretty good quality. I've got you guys might remember my red and black dress. Uh, it's my rockabilly kind of dress with the bats. So it's got the black bats coming up. And that's a name brand fucking expensive ass dress. That is thinner uh, and worse quality of fabric than this dress that I got from Rose Wholesale. Um, the little hair clip. I don't like that. Um, it's really cheap. It's pretty shit. Um, the the white hand just looks very overly plastic not much blood on it I can touch it up myself I've got paint I'll paint it and make it look better but it's it's probably like the cheapest thing that I got but it was only um a dollar so it wasn't a big deal uh the shoes I got the shoes they smell really good uh they're a bit tight at the toe they're comfortable and they look to be good quality from a distance there's no issue with them um, obviously they're not made to last through thick and thin and every single day wear. Uh, there's a little issue with the paint job on the inside. I'll actually show you guys this real quick. Um, so this is the skeleton hand. So you can see it's just, it's pretty cheapy. Nothing great, but uh, it's a dollar. The paint isn't so great. It's kind of, eh. Uh, the white wig, it's curly at the bottom, which I didn't know, I don't really like, but I might try to straighten it out. It's also quite thick, really soft, really nice. I just like this because it's colorful. I probably look like an idiot, but I don't care. I'm, I'm really loving this right now. Um, I think it's beautiful. <laughs> um, what else did we get? Logan got a jacket. Jacket was tiny, even though it's an XL it is tiny it barely fits dorian dorian does not like it so i'll have to be getting rid of that um white wig purple wig rainbow wig boots shirts dresses um the corset there's an issue with that because you can feel that it's cheap it's it's better quality than the 15 dollars ebay ones but it's not as good quality of course as the real steel boned ones um i'm scared to tie it completely tight because I feel like it'll rip it feels kind of like it might rip if you pull it too tight it's obviously not made to be like a waist trainer it's just a nice corset I could probably close it up all the way but I'm just really scared right now I don't want to fuck it up um however when you do pull it tight the front gapes open and it shows like your skin and your stomach in the front which I don't like I don't know if that's a design flaw or if it's just because it's a cheap corset I've never had one with a latch like this, so I've got nothing to compare it to. Um, the corset dress I got, 
is also quite um, shitty quality. I'll probably show it here. This is the corset dress that doesn't fit. So um, this is the top of it. And then this is the crotch area. See, it's very kind of plasticky. And uh, that's the back of it. So it laces all the way up. So I can't unlace it to make it fit because then I can't wear it. And um, it doesn't really feel like a corset. You can bend it and move it. It's, it's not very sturdy. And uh, this is probably the second worst quality item out of all of them. But hopefully one day I'll fit into it and try to wear it at least for photos or something. But yeah, it's it's not very wide. And this is an XL. So... This one is like itty bitty and not very good. <laughs> oh, and my um, my hairpin. I colored it. So this is the uh, the hair clip I showed earlier, and I've just painted it. So uh, it looks a lot better, I think. <laughs> but it's like plastic or paper almost um that's an xl and it is nowhere near fitting me i think a 2xl wouldn't even fit it's it's really small that's really the only thing i've had issue with um so item wise as long as you go in there with your eyes open you know and you know you're aware that the stuff's not going to be top-notch quality it's just going to be doable pretty much you get what you pay for um, and, uh, be careful with what you choose. Be careful with the sizing. And if you can go just a wee bit over just in case, because it's not just the waist, it's the waist, the boobs, the length, all that. Um, the red and black dress I got a bit too big. The black dress I got a bit too big. So if I can fit into this shit, I'm sure a lot of you can fit into this shit. Um, as far as the customer service goes, they are hard to get a hold of. Um, I've been very frustrated with them because when I, um, when I was approached by them, they said either I could uh, reply to the email and just do, 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 just add my links or I could make an order and give them my order number and they'll send that out. So I was like, Oh, that'll be easier. So I did that. And that, that way I could keep track of the total that I was allowed to spend. And I sent them the order. And then when I looked at the order history, it showed up my old address and I was like, oh fuck, because I forgot I had, I've seen them obviously on Facebook. And so I, I made an account, like I make an account everywhere and I forgot to update it first. And so I emailed to get them to update it. They said it had already been sent out to that address and I was like, oh my fucking God. And then I did a live chat because they didn't answer my email. Like I sent like two emails about it. They didn't answer. So I went to live chat and they answered, they said, okay, they'll stop it, but it's going to delay it. And I was like, I don't care. Obviously, if it's delayed, I still get it. If it goes, I'm not going to get it because the other address is, is quite a ways away from here. And um, so they delayed that. And I mean, it took maybe three or four chats and like three or four emails to get that sorted. That was a pain in the ass. I was so stressed out. I was so pissed off. I couldn't get a straight answer from anybody on what was happening in the end, it was sent to the right address. They did get it. But if you have an issue and nobody responds to email, I suggest live chat and just keep at it, keep at it, keep at it. Don't just do it once. They are not an American company, so they don't speak English. You might have to just try again and try again until you get a hold of somebody, but just be sure all your details are correct first. Um, the second thing that really pissed me off, and I'm, I'm still in the process of getting it sorted because this isn't my whole order. There's still some other stuff because they actually take quite a while to pack it so in the meantime while they're packing your shit they'll run out of stock and that's something i've seen other people complain about i don't know it can't be helped it's quite a bad way to run the business personally you know because you're like i want this item and by the time they go to pack it the item's gone and it's like oh what the fuck and so there was five items that are in back order and i've gotten from the email they've said they are not in stock then they said they might be in stock then they said they are in stock then they said they're not in stock on live chat they've said 
they're not in stock. Then they said they are in stock. Then they said they are going to be packed out. Then they said they're not in stock. So they, I can't get a straight answer from them. So I said, cancel those and let me have, let me just redo, you know, the order with some other stuff. So I've done that. They have not processed it yet. So it's kind of, yeah, kind of want them to hurry up and get on that so I can finish my review and stuff. Cause there's some pretty cool items in that second half that weren't on the website when I looked before. Also, there's this corset that I had my eye on and it's got like the, it's like the spike dress I have. It got the spikes on the boobs. And I had that in my original order. When I went to go check on the address of the order and stuff, um, they tried to tell me that I canceled that item. And I was like, uh, I never canceled it. I really wanted that corset. I would not have canceled it. I didn't cancel it. And they're like, okay, well, we'll put it back on, you know, on your order we'll add it. And I was like, okay. And so they, I got a ticket telling me that that corset's been added back to my order for the second order coming out. The one that I canceled and redid. And I forgot to ask about it. Is that corset still coming? Because it was charged with the first order. It was part of the grand total and I didn't cancel it. So I want it back. You know, I want it. And I've written two or three times now asking what is happening with the corset am I still getting the corset what is happening with the corset you guys screwed up you said I canceled it I did not cancel it what is going on and I still have not gotten at an answer on that so their customer service isn't so great they're friendly when they talk to you but I think the language barrier really hurts it um I'm kind of glad I didn't spend my own money on it just because of how hard it's been with the address and just getting a simple answer out of them. So it's kind of iffy. If you guys double check and triple check and quadruple check everything, and if you PayPal, because PayPal usually, they'll, they're will they pretty good at refunding you, always choose PayPal if you get a chance. If you do that and, you know, realize the quality of the items you get aren't going to be exact copies, but they'll be close, and check your sizes you really should have no issues. Um, I don't know how they are with other people as far as answering emails and stuff. I don't know what the other people are emailing about. I know my issue was, was the address and stuff. If, uh, oh, and then shipping and then packing takes a long time. I, I chose expedited, which is three to 10 days and it's been weeks and I have ordered the shit way before Christmas and it only just came today, which is January the 5th. So, um, it takes them like a good two weeks to fucking pack the shit. And then it takes from that time on to send it. So the shipping and the packing is not fast. Um, but hopefully you will get your items. I, I know that, um, they requested me to review and everything, but it's not like I've gotten special treatment because I haven't. Um, it's not like they're saying, oh, this person's going to review us, make sure she gets her shit now, 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 because then I wouldn't have had to wait. You know, they're treating me just like any other customer, which is good because I'm getting to see how any other customer would be treated in order to give a proper review. So it's good and bad. Uh, the quality of the items is far better than I expected. I was like, this is going to be shit. It's going to be like paper. It's going to be really bad. And I got it and I was pleasantly surprised. I was actually pretty happy. I was like, wow, you know, this is really cool. I'm happy with the stuff. So if you follow everything that I've said, fingers crossed, you should not have an issue. Uh, Dress Lily, who's the same company. Um, I've, I haven't had an issue with them at all. Like they write back really fast. When I write to them, it's like, bam, bam, bam. Like they write back right away, never an issue. And they're actually the ones who helped get Rose Wholesale to hurry up and reply to me. So you know, I mean, they sell different stuff between the different companies. They're probably about 75% the same, but you will find different stuff here, different stuff there, different prices. So it's pretty much up to the individual, uh, which one you want to go for. But, um, all these sites that are on there bashing them saying they're a fake company. I don't agree with that. They're not a fake company. They're a real company. And to be honest, I think a lot of the issues people have is because they're not using their own brain and they're expecting it to be like an American company that they can just kind of call up and get an answer. Boom, 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 boom. Um, they're expecting shipping to be there within like three days to a week or something. And things just don't happen like that. They're not checking the sizing and they're 
getting confused when the stuff's too small and it's just a lot of this you can sort out yourself just by using your brain a little bit otherwise I'm I really don't see an issue and um I'd say you should be safe ordering from them uh I got my stuff I mean I'm still waiting for half the order because you know they take so long to pack it and all that but um I got a big box today and it was like chock full of shit and it was everything except for the corset that I ordered and um yeah uh I hope this helps I'm not sure if I gave you enough information but I tried to make it thorough try to make it honest um I'm not gonna blow smoke up your ass or whatever and be like yeah I order from them they're 100% safe I'm hoping that they're safe because uh, I've read some stuff but from my personal experience it just takes them a while to get to you but I got the stuff and the stuff that I got was good enough it wouldn't have been a waste of money if we had paid for it ourselves Logan would disagree just because he doesn't fit his stuff because of his recent weight gain but once he loses his weight it'll be all sweet Dorian is completely over the moon with the stuff he got and uh, he's just he actually wanted it so bad because I said Mr. Marshmallow's hair is all over this house. As soon as you take the shit out of the bag, it's going to get covered in white cat hair. So keep the stuff in here in a bag until we do the video. Then you can take your stuff. And he was so eager to get his stuff, he asked if we could do the video today. So we did the video the day we got the stuff. And usually he hates being on camera. So that shows you how eager he was to get his shit. And uh, yeah, so I hope this has been informative. And um let me know if you guys have had any good or bad experiences with them. And if you like these kind of videos, um, I know on Facebook you constantly see ads for these sites. And because they are each different, even though they're under one umbrella company, it is a good idea to kind of know what you're getting into. Um, because I might actually have another review coming up in a couple of weeks for one of their other sites. And it's like bathing suit stuff and other stuff. It's going to be a small haul. But it'll be a different experience because that site's uh, it's actually quite a bit pricier than these other sites. So I'm hoping that their stuff is a bit better quality um, and it's it's got different stuff that the other sites don't have. And this is only women. It's, they don't sell guy stuff or kids stuff or anything like that. So um, stay tuned for that one. Uh, I hope you're not bored <laughs> with these videos. I'm just trying to help the companies out by giving honest reviews and help you guys out in case you don't know if you can trust them or not and help my family out by you know doing these reviews and stuff and hopefully you know getting enough views and stuff I don't want really to go into that but uh, anyway um, hope you guys have a great day and talk to me about this. Let me know what you're thinking and what you think about this stuff. Is there anything you really liked? Is there anything that you want? I will have linked stuff either in this video or the other video or both. I'm not sure yet. Uh, so that you can get the stuff too if you want. Um, these are not codes directed to me. They have affiliate programs, but I'm way too lazy to sign up for anything like that. So I'm not making any money off of you guys buying the stuff. It's just it is what it is. It's a review and that's it. So the links are linked directly to their site and you can choose to get it or not. It's not going to come back to me. I'm not going to know and I'm not going to get rewarded for it. So yeah, it is what it is. I'm just here to help. But uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Take care and I really hope to hear from you soon. Bye. Totally forgot this shirt the other day. I don't know what the hell happened, but this is a Dragon Ball Z all over print shirt that Dorian says is his favorite shirt out of all of them. He really, really likes this one. He says it's perfect length, perfect everything. Second forgotten item is this beanie. It's got cat fur and stuff on it, Mr. Marshmallow fur everywhere. Uh, it's got a drawstring on the back and uh, no lip. Logan's taking the string off. Damn it but uh, he quite likes it, it's tight and nice.